when we're saying body composition, we usually mean fat proportion, fat percentage of our body. We have fat tissues and non-fat tissues. Non-fat tissues include muscles and bones. But why we pay so much attention fat percentage? Because it's directly correlated with important disease such as cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, colorectal cancer, pancreatic cancer, breast cancer, and other types of cancers. And moreover, persons who have less than 20% of body fat have 20% lower risk of dying. Another study. People who have less than 15% of body fat have 30% lower risk of dying. So, body percentage is directly correlated with longevity. That's why it's so important. Now let's say what is healthy, what is favorable, what is, um, um, what is optimal. Uh, for example, male athletes have 6 to 13 percent of body fat, while female athletes have 14 to 20 percent of body fat. So we can say that the lower is better, but we have lower threshold also. Lower, uh, lower level uh, under this is not favorable body fat. It's 5% for men and around 10% for women. And this 5% for men and 10% for women is called essential fats. This essential fats is important for uh, our basal metabolism, uh, our hormonal function and immune system function. So this fat is important. And in some cases, if athletes or non-athletes have less than this percentage of body fat, they have female athlete triad. Uh, th this, this is previously known uh, syndrome actually um, we, which develops among women and characterized by low energy, menstrual dysfunction and low mineral density of bone. So under 5% for men and under 10% for women fats is not favorable. Uh, now, le what is, uh, for example, good shape in fitness? Uh, what we see, and it's good, that's around 14% to 17% of fats for males and for females, 21 to 24%. And wh what is considered obesity? Obesity is when for, ma uh, when for males, uh, body fat percentage is more than 25% and for females it's 32%. So after, after this it's obesity already and it increases the risk of many diseases include diabetes, cardiovascular disease, um, insulin resistance, uh, se several types of cancers, stroke and other diseases. Now let's say how we, how we me measure how we measure body fat. Um, golden standard of um, diagnosis and defining body fat and composition is uh, dual energy X-ray absorptiometry, which is called also DEXA. Uh, DEXA is good, of course, but patients get it's expensive first and not available everywhere second, and um, um, patient gets some radiation. That's third. Um, also, there's bioelectrical impedance analysis, which is used in scales and in um, smartwatches. It's actually uh, less accurate, accurate than DEXA, but uh, it, it's uh, much more uh, inexpensive and cost-effective, so uh, I think it works. And another method is uh, skin fault calipers. Uh, this method measures um, measures thickness of your skin folds at different points of your body. 
but this method is not very popular right now. Uh, I think most popular and if, uh, actually usable method is bioelectrical impedance analysis on smartwatch or scale. It's I think it's best um, because uh, less invasive and uh, cost effective. DEXA, of course, it's best. Uh, DEXA also measures bone density, which is important, especially women's after menopause. That's all I wanted to say. That's why uh, body fat is so important and what is optimal body fats. Uh, thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.